Hey y'all, this is going to be a really quick video, um, cooking video. Went to the gym, had a taste for some salmon cakes or salmon croquettes, whatever you want to call it. Um, I probably won't talk through this video, but I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. So I have some canned salmon. I'm going to drain the juice out, get as many bones of it out as I can, try to get all the skin off if possible. To that, once I drain it, I'm going to add one egg, a little bit of parsley, a fourth of a cup of cornmeal, about a tablespoon of flour, and salt, pepper, onion powder, garlic powder. Season that up, and I'm going to cook it in the pan with some olive oil and butter. Then I'm also going to fix some fried potatoes. So I'm going to do some potatoes with um, onions. Oh, in the cornmeal, I mean in the cornmeal, in the salmon cakes, I'm also going to add some onion. So I'm going to also do some fried potatoes. So I'm going to dice these up and I'm going to add some green pepper, some green bell pepper and onions to it. And I'm going to serve it with some biscuits since we're off today. Um, I figured I want some salmon cakes. I'm pretty sure everybody else wants some salmon cakes. So I'm going to cook breakfast for my family. Technically, it's kind of brunch, but who cares what the time is? We about to eat, honey. So y'all stay tuned, all right? All right. All right, so here's everything in here. The cornmeal, the flour, the onion. The egg is somewhere down in there, but just to mix it all up. I seasoned it, and I did taste it before I putting the egg and flour um, and cornmeal in here. And one thing I forgot to tell you to, that I like to add, you don't have to add. I mean, you don't got to add none of this if you don't want to, but I add a little bit of dill. I should have gone outside to get some fresh dill, but it's kind of rainy, so I didn't. Um, I had some dried dill already inside, so I used that. And I'm just mixing it all up. Then I'm going to let this sit while I dice my potatoes and peppers and the rest of this onion. And I don't like the salmon to be too wet. You want to be able to make patties out of it and you want them to be able to stick together and not have all that juice in your pan. So I'm gonna see if I need to add another egg just to see. If I need one, or if my patty's gonna stay together. Nope, perfect. Look at that. Now move that onion off there. And I'll make them a little bit larger than that, but. All right, so I have my pan heating up. I just put a little teeny bit of butter in it. The rest is olive oil. Oh, I thought the pan was on. Lord, the pan won't eat on. But I do have butter and olive oil in this pan. Oh, yeah, that was a horrible angle. That's still a horrible angle. Just trust me. If there's butter and hold on, butter and oil, all right, in this pan, and I'm getting ready to drop the seasoned potatoes, onions, and I have potatoes, onions, and peppers, and I season it with some salt, pepper, onion powder, garlic powder, and a little bit of my seasoned all my complete seasoning and so and I'm using this big pan because I want to be able to mix everything up real good and I want everything to get like a little crust on the potatoes in the um, store today to see if they had the O'Brien style potatoes, the ones that's already cut up the hash browns, but I was in the freezer section and then as I was leaving the store, I remember they normally keep that over in the dairy section in the refrigerator. So, I mean, it's fine to make, you know, to do the homemade style anyway. It doesn't really take much and then they'll be actually seasoned the way that I want to season. So now they're just going to have to cook for a while because they got a crust over and everything. All right, this is what the potatoes are looking like. And the red you see on top is some smoked paprika. And as you can see, I have not put the fish cakes in the pan yet because I kind of want the potatoes to be 
close to being done before I put them in and I have not put the biscuits in the oven yet either. They are on the counter and there are the fish cakes. Okay, the potatoes are done nice and crispy. And now I am going to get the fish and the grease. All right, so the biscuits are done, the salmon cakes are done, and the potatoes. So this is our brunch for today. I am getting ready to grab a biscuit because I want a biscuit while they're hot. I don't know if you can see the steam, but nice and warm. Mm. Put a little bit of butter on there, we good as money. Um, We will have a, another cooking video this week. So that one will be cooking with cocktails. Just wanted to share what I was fixing for brunch today. It was supposed to be breakfast, but it's 12.53. So let's get ready to eat, y'all. I'll talk to y'all next time. Remember to like, comment, share, subscribe. Let me know if you like the video. Give me a thumbs up. If you give me a thumbs down, that's fine too. At least I know you watched it. <laughs> but anyway, remember to like, comment, share, subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.